Welcome to Taxtron Web Tutorial Video Series. In our last video, we covered the basics of dividends. Let's quickly recap that before moving on to how we report dividends paid and received on a T2 return. What's a dividend? It's a share of a company's profits given to shareholders. How dividends work. Calculated per share owned. Shareholders of the same class get equal dividends. Board approval. Dividends need approval from the company's board of directors. Types of dividends. Cash, money, stock, additional shares, or sometimes assets. Difference. Dividends paid versus received. Paid is what the company gives to shareholders. Received is what shareholders earn from their investments. In this video we will focus on reporting total taxable dividends paid to shareholders or owners. Let's start by logging into your Taxtron web account. Once logged in, navigate to an existing client and open a new return. Click on a Create to start the new T2 return that will be opened in a separate tab. Here, the first step is selecting the business profile. I'm choosing Others Profile. Next, you will be asked to input the tax year information. Make sure to enter the correct tax year details. Now, don't forget the General Information section for your corporation. It's crucial to fill in all the necessary details accurately. Moving on to the financial statements, we'll start with the income statement. Here, we'll report our revenue using a specific code. For instance, if our primary income source is product sales, we use 8,000 trade sale of goods and services and input the amount, say $50,000. Proceed to the balance sheet section accessible from the left navigation bar. Navigate to assets and input the amount of $2,500 for cash and deposits. Once done, click next and you'll be directed to the liabilities page. Under the equity section, locate common shares and report $100. Additionally, input the opening retained earnings of $5,600. After completing these entries, click next to proceed. However, proceeding further will reveal that our balance sheet isn't balanced, showing assets less than the total of liabilities and shareholders' equities. To fix this, let's consider the dividends. Imagine the corporation has paid taxable dividends of $53,200. We'll need to add this amount to the balance sheet under the shareholders' equity section. Find the right code for declaring dividends. Choose Jiffy code 3700 for dividends declared and stock dividends declared on shares and enter $53,200. After this adjustment, review the balance sheet again using the balance sheet review from the left navigation bar. You will notice that the balance sheet is now balanced. Following this, it's important to record this dividend amount within the dividends profile to ensure accurate tax treatment for your dividend reporting. On the left-hand side navigation bar, locate and click on Dividends, then choose Dividends Received and Paid. You'll notice an information label that mentions Dividends declared are entered on the financial statement, but the section for dividends paid to shareholders is not completed. This indicates that although the dividends have been declared on the financial statement, the specific section regarding dividends paid to shareholders requires attention and completion within the dividends profile. To complete this section, answer yes to the question, did you pay dividends to shareholders or owners? Then, input the $53,200 dividend amount into the designated text box titled total taxable dividends paid to shareholders or owners other than connected corporations. So, that's the process for completing the reporting of dividends paid on a T2 tax return which involves detailing dividends within the financial statements. I recommend downloading the record-keeping details and cross-checking them against the T2 income tax return form. This ensures thorough verification and accuracy in your tax calculations related to dividends. Thank you for watching. 
Follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials.